Good morning, everyone. Welcome back. If you are just finding us, I'm Nicole and this is Miko, and we are currently traveling around the Philippines. In the last video, we were exploring farm life in rural Philippines with my family in Bacana. Since then, we have made our way to Moabual, a town on Cebu Island. We have an epic day lined up here doing the two most popular tourist activities here in Moabual. We're going to start off with some scuba diving with a ton of sardines and then make our way to Kawasan Falls for canyoneering. Yeah. One, two, three. <laughs> I had no idea what to expect, but that just blew my mind. Man, Philippines just keeps on delivering. Today we're going with Jojo South Cebu Adventures for all activities. They got good reviews online, plus they can do the diving and the canyoneering all in one day. So there's a big sardine run here in Moabal. And most people actually go snorkeling to see it, which would be awesome. Um, we are scuba divers, so we want to go and uh, see it from below, which I think will get really cool views. But you definitely could see this just by snorkeling. You're literally like walking off the beach. How cool is that? All right, we're suited up. Let's go. The Malbal Sardine Run on Cebu Island is one of the most unique things you can see in the Philippines. Millions or even tens of millions of sardines gather together in massive schools here all year round. They come to feed on the plankton that grows really well here thanks to the nutrient-rich waters that can be found just off the beach in Wawa. The crystal clear water makes it easy to watch the millions of sardines as they swim in synchrony, creating mesmerizing patterns under the water. I've just never thought I was going to say anything like that my whole life. I had no idea what to expect, but that just blew my mind. It was, it was such a surreal experience. It was so trippy because it was like you were like swimming along, and then as you get close to sardines, they just like they like move, but they move as one. So it's weird. It's like there's like a million animals, but one animal. It was yeah. so strange. Yeah, like a little like some sometimes they'd be like they'd almost like vibrate where you have like yeah. all the sardines like move as a wave. It was so cool. And then the shimmering. Oh, I oh loved it. That was my favorite part. It's like depending on how close you could get, like all of a sudden if the light hit them right, they just like they look like they were almost like glowing. Yeah. Like sparkling. It's, they were so cool. Especially when you see like the sun shine through them. It's just, it was just such a surreal experience. I, I can't tell if it's like I'm looking at the scales of a very like giant fish or I'm looking at some sort of like stained glass or something uh, like that where the light is coming through and it's causing all these kind of cool effects. I was actually like, it kind of freaked me out a little bit too because the guide was like, hey, you can like kind of like go through them and I'm like, no, you know what? Yeah. <laughs> but I mean, it's really cool. And they do, like, they move out of your yeah. way. Like, it's not like they're going to sit there and wait for you because I'm sure they think we're predators. But it's like trippy to, like, go, go through in. a whole yeah. giant school of fish. Yeah. It's weird. And then I think there was one part where we were, like, in the middle yeah. and, like, in there, they were just, like, a dome was, around us. That was my favorite it, part. It, it felt like, like, like the cl a cloud just moved over the sun yeah. and a just dark mass swarming around it. it that was, was really so cool. so surreal. It was I loved it. Beautiful. If you're a snorkeler, come and snorkel. But if you are a scuba diver, or if you want to do a discovery dive, like if you just want to come and try scuba diving, the, this yeah for the for first, first time, time yeah. without being certified, this is a really cool way to do it because that was a really neat dive and really like a, easy. a simple dive. Yeah, like it's just you're just going out and like exploring these cool fish. It was very cool. incredible. Part two of this day is canyoneering. From what we understand, it entails lots of jumping off of big cliffs and going down watery slides made of rocks, so it should be really fun. First stop is an optional activity. 
to pay an extra 600 pesos per person and take a zip line down like almost all the way to the canyon or you could walk it 45 minute walk we are out the zip line naturally <laughs> i think it's like the tallest one in philippines i think it's about a kilometer long and yeah i think it's beautiful we love zip lines Very smooth. <laughs> it was so fast that my eye was yeah. <laughs> crying. It's just like three. You guys ready? Okay, three, two, one. Yeah. Let's go. That was really fun though. Good scenery. That was beautiful. Like one whole minute. Good start. Closer and closer we get to the canyoning. The uh, more screaming I hear. <laughs> I feel like that can't be a good sign. <laughs> hear water and screaming. Something <laughs> is happening over there. Is this a good thing? Do I want to keep going towards this? I don't know. We're just getting our first look at the water and it looks crazy blue. Kind of reminds me of like the water we get at home, but it's like glacial water at home. Yeah. So there's no way you're getting in. <laughs> this is gonna be nice. Oh man, okay. I think this is it. Our guy just said, careful, the water's really hot. There's a lot of sarcasm. <laughs> Oh, hey, life jacket, I float. This is nice. Oh my God, it's cold. Wow. Oh, that's so cool. There's a lot of people here, but honestly, it's not getting really getting in the way. I just love how it feels like it's just like a theme park. <laughs> well, you know? it's nice I'm not in a rush. Yeah, so, like, I don't care how long it takes to get to the next section. We're well, great. Oh my god, 
I'm not gonna lie, it was a lot scarier than I thought it was gonna be. <laughs> it like looks fine from down here, but when you're actually up there, oh my goodness. I gotta say, Nicole has like no hesitation. Oh. I actually, it's the mind blowing because I'm like a little bit worried when I see those heights. But she's like, yeah, let's do it. I'm it like, looks fun. Oh my god. No, it looks scary. It looks fun. I'm gonna be fine. I was waiting for her to like, maybe, I don't know. And I'll be like, yeah, maybe we can do it. There's like a thousand people a day. You do this. We're fine. We're good. Good lord. It's a whole adventure going through those rocks. You gotta be pretty like, able-bodied I gotta say to go through all of this because there's a lot to maneuver around on top of all the jumping <laughs> and what do I do hold them <laughs> cool <laughs> you know what alrighty <laughs> is someone pulling us I have no idea how we're moving oh, right now <laughs> 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 To see this part of Philippines is to like come here in the middle of it. Yeah. Go through the river. I like, mean we are going through a canyon. I sometimes forget yeah. about that with all the yeah. jumps and the cool. crazy yeah. stuff that's happening. Yeah. But then you look around, you take a pause and And it's so beautiful. Also my helmet's coming off. <laughs> wow. That is so pretty. Barbecue for like the past 10 minutes. Good marketing. Really good marketing. Yeah, that was actually a really nice stop. All right. Whew. Wow, that's high. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Just seven meters. Just seven. Maybe. Maybe jump. Seven meters. Okay. Hold tight. Hold tight. Ready? Oh my god. It looks fun. Okay. Go. Go. If you come to Moabwal, you guys, you gotta do this. I just feel like we haven't had a chance to like really explore and see the jungle part of Philippines yet. And I feel like I'm getting to do that today. Going along the river, so really nice and cool. But like, we're in the middle of the jungle. It's really, really beautiful. Man, Philippines just keeps on delivering. Look at this. So apparently we're coming up 
to like the last jump. And apparently it's like the biggest one. It's something like 10 meters. It doesn't sound that big, but I'm, I have a feeling that once we actually see it, we'll feel like 30. <laughs> Pretty sure the toilets we've done so far is seven, so I think ten is gonna feel like a huge jump. Seven's the most? I'm pretty sure. Oh man. Yeah, so it's gonna feel real tall. Alright, how are we feeling about this? I'm like fine. I just gotta remember to plug my nose. Uh, it was a doozy. And land straight so I don't hit my thigh like yeah, I did. Yeah, last yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Ready? No, not really. <laughs> okay, ready? Oh, one, two, oh. Yeah? Okay. Yeah. Three, one, two, three, four. Oh Obviously, the most natural way to do it is just to scream. I know I look stupid, I don't really care. <laughs> Whatever, it helps. It was very scary. That was very scary. But that was awesome. That was very fun. 10 out of 10, would never do it again. <laughs> <laughs> By the way, this giant drop, completely optional. Totally unnecessary. You can just walk down or take that slide. That slide looks pretty fun. Oh, watch out. This is our last stop of the day. It's so beautiful. It's a little bit crowded, but you know what? We've had an amazing day. I'm ready to just <laughs> stare at the falls and relax. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching the video today. If you are looking to do the same tour as we did, make sure you go down into the description and check out our link for JoJo South Cebu Adventures. They have been wonderful today. We've had a fantastic time with them. If you like this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. If you want to see more videos of Philippines and beyond, make sure you hit subscribe. Thanks for watching.